Honeybees say no. At least in deep South Alabama. Had one dead out, and it's got uh, 20 to 20 to 40 pounds of honey in it. One out of four is not bad. I'll take that. I'll collect the honey out of it. It was perched in here. And considering the barn got trashed by straight line winds. Having these two by fours secured button up against each side. That's the only security they had against that storm. Just the side, they can't slide to the side. Of course, they're going to have to be inside by the bees. But those two by fours being secured on the side like this, I think is what kept these from rolling off. But there's pollen going in. I think all my hives have pollen going in. There goes one. Good. Pollen goes in. That means there's a need for pollen. All right. You got pollen. No, just put it this way. If you have babies, you need pollen. So there goes one there with pollen. And I'm go some else here. That's yeah, more. Okay, good. I think we're looking good there. It's overcast and I think it's about to start sprinkling a little bit, so I'm not staying long. I just wanted to do a spot check without opening them. It's easy to tell you got a dead out when you drive by and three of them are going crazy and one of them is doing nothing. Except for a few robbers figured out where the screen door open is. Anyhow, one dead out out of four for a winter is not bad. I'll take it. And I've got it in the back of the truck. I'm going to go extract that this evening, I guess, or tomorrow. Until then, happy, uh, what, four more weeks of winter? These honeybees do not agree. They said they're enjoying the 75 degree weather. Of course, I'm one county north of the Gulf Coast, so we've got the nice Gulf Coast effect going on to make this as a warm area. We got flowers. We have uh, <coughs> many, many weeds producing. Of course, this is some kind of turnip. It's, uh, you know, forage turnip for hay. I'll take it. One out of four ain't bad. Plus, far left over there, that seems to be the strongest one out of the out of the three. Now, that's one I cut out of my house, and they uh, they have come back. I had split them up front because there was so much brood in that nest. That hive, rather. I split them and only one of them made so i had to recombine them and uh they've come back full strength they're doing really good we'll see hopefully i can get a split out of them in a year i'm gonna let them just grow strong this year the one next to it they split every year just because they, they just want to swarm anyway and this one's always been good so hopefully that'll be good y'all have a great nice february